hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today guys we are going to be talking about ARC versus Atlas, all the boycotting and all the stuff around it, all the new content around Atlas, and I just want to talk about everything in general. However, you're seeing right now is a straight face cam of me right now because I want to go ahead and call a couple things out in specific towards relating to people saying ARC is now dead or saying that the end of Atlas or the boycott Atlas or, or whatever it is, I want to go ahead and call some of these things out and, and say, you know what, we need to, to look at what really is coming up. So the first things we want to attack is the people who say, I've got 6,000 uh, hours into ARC, this game is terrible, I'm going to stop giving Wild Karma money because it's so buggy and there are so many problems with it and they're just done with it. So now they're making a new game and creating this new game instead of fixing um, ARC specifically. Uh, if you spent $6,000, uh, 6,000 hours on a game that you maybe spent tops $250 on, you've gotten your money out of it, so I don't know why you're complaining. That's my opinion. Why did you put 6,000 hours into a game that was so broken? Um, you're just you know, complaining for no reason. And I just wanted to go ahead and say that because if you really think about it, if you go out and let's say you go to a movie, it costs 10, we'll say $10 to go see a, a new movie that came out. That might last you two hours, so that's at $5 an hour. And if you're trying to get uh, up to, let's say, $250 out of $5, you're talking about uh, roughly 50 hours. So if you play over 50 hours on the game, you've made your money back on it, very simply. Uh, so that's my opinion on that. If you've got less than 50 hours on the game, I could totally understand saying you've spent too much on the game or something like that. Uh, but no game is perfect nowadays either. So saying that there's no bugs and there's no support is complete fallacy um, in there in nature. And if you're on council or cons council console, sorry console console console, I'm gonna say the wrong word here. Um, basically, y you have a little bit of a different problem. So people who are on um, console are going to have the issue of they have Sony or Microsoft that they're going to be in the in between people here and they are going to specifically have a problem in there looking at that stuff and and they have to then send so wildcard has to send some updates to them then they have to approve it and they could say oh this isn't right so then they have to send it back and it just goes back and forth and that's why it's so hard um, on those systems specifically to have it where you cannot um, get the updates as fast and that's the difference now I'm not saying it's not bad to be playing on Xbox or PS4 it's completely improper to say I'm just saying the game is gonna always be smoother on PC because they can send updates directly and there's no in-between man uh, on that because they don't have a separate you know system they have to worry about on there so um, and and the fact that you're saying that Ark is dead always drives me nuts because Ark isn't dying. They're not giving up on Ark. Pretty much what they've done is they've said, okay, Ark is kind of in a good spot. We want to focus on making other games just like every other game developer does. Once they've got a good game, they create more games to keep improving their brand and not just sitting on one thing and they create more games. You look at all the big ones, that's what they do. They create more games games it's what it's going to happen that's how this this system works so they're going to continue working on it which i'm going to show after this what we're talking about i'm going to jump to my desktop and, and go off of this but they're going to sit there and they're going to still work on arc and they've got another team that's building a new game that's a good thing that means they're coming out with two games they're trying to fix these things and in and it's just it's um it's a fallacy to believe that it's anything less than that, and I think people need to understand that and, and really sit down and, and have a conversation with themselves. And for those people who just won't even listen to this and might be toxic on me in the comments, that's your choice, and I'm sorry that you feel that way, and I can't talk to you that way, and, and it's unfortunate in that generality. Um, so that's pretty much how I feel about that is I just want people to understand that like they can – this is not something that needs to be argued about. It's if you like the game, you like the game. If you don't like the game, you don't like the game. And that's what it comes down to. And if you want to try Atlas because you think Ark was garbage, but I have 6,000 hours in it, that's kind of a lie because you have $6,000 into a game. Like <laughs> That means you loved the game because 6,000 hours, hours is a ton of time into one game. So you loved it, whether there were bugs or not. And things have become more complex. You look at back at the original games like Super Mario and stuff, they were simple 
games that all you had to do was produce the game. You tested the levels that went straight through. There was no AI. There was no anything. Everything was set to be how it was. You had to jump on certain things. Things were going to walk through in straight lines. There were no huge problems like there are now with the games because the games are much more complex. There's AIs. The games are thinking themselves. There are going to be bugs. When they update software, there's a little bug. So people who say that Unreal Engine, if you upgrade the Unreal Engine, you can solve all your problems. Well, yes, kind of. However, whenever you introduce a new system to a game, and any developer will tell you this, when you introduce a new system or update a new system, it's going to cause problems within your system because you didn't create the update for the first system. So it's going to cause your problems, and then you possibly have to recode the entire game because you updated one system within it. So if a game is built on the core system, and that's why they still support these old systems on other game on other things, because until they fix it, it's man hours behind it is is ridiculous. So with that being said, I want to go ahead. Um, that was my little rant. I had to get it out, and and that's why I'm doing a face cam because I want people to see me saying it and me me being honest. And and I feel like if I can say it with my face, looking into you guys, I can at least say it with uh, that I stand behind it. This is me wholeheartedly saying, you know buck up like get over it like this whole boycott atlas thing is just it's it's malarkey it's stupid like get over it like it's a new game that's coming out it's a new genre they're trying to push the boundaries of survival games and and i'm super excited for it and if you're not excited for it then don't go grind everyone else then just be gone why are you still on the arc forums if you hate arc so bad why why are you on the ARC forums? Go pick some other game to play then. And if there is no other game, then what's that telling you? That the wild card made a great game, and you should probably look at Atlas. That's all I'm saying, and I'm sorry if I offended anyone, but that's the truth. And I'm sorry that I'm a little bit, you know, probably loud and passionate or whatever you want to call it, but man, get over yourselves, people. Woo! All right, so let's go ahead and jump to my desktop now um, and talk about some of the things that have happened. Um, I will go ahead and give my webcam back up there. So, hi, guys. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pull up a couple things here. Um, you guys can see I have a whole pile of pages on this. I should probably move my camera. Boop. We'll put it down here for you guys so you guys can see it. Um, you can see this is kind of an impromptu thing. I'm not really doing this very specifically. I'm not going to show you guys anything new. So I want to talk about what's been said from Wildcard from ARC and what's been said about Atlas and how you guys can get more information on Atlas and all kinds of fun stuff. So first thing, and the last couple of days have been crazy for Atlas. So let's go ahead and try to get a hold of this. First things first, the first message that came out after Atlas was released, or was said to be released, came out from Jeremy and Jesse. And basically what they said is they're not working on, they're, they're paying attention to the ARC team. However, the ARC team is its own independent team that's working on their own stuff and creating their own thing and created a new studio called Grapeshot. Now, side note, so basically what we're saying is, is Grapeshot is a sister company. Of wildcard. So basically, if you really think about it, it's a perfect example. Like you look at Comcast. Comcast owns ABC or NBC or whichever one it is, but it's still the same company because they're all owned by the same company. So it's kind of the same idea as that they're still part of it. Wildcard's just one studio because they're working on Arc, and the other one is Grape Shop. Now there's also a third party that everyone keeps forgetting about, which is Instinct Games. They helped with At At uh, Arc Survival Evolved, and now they're helping with Atlas. And they're an Egyptian company, if you didn't know that. So there's going to be a lot of similarities between these games. But what they did is they hired a bunch of new people, kept old people in Arc to continue building that game, continue to expand it. And they even say right here, they are going to add more expansions. They're going to continue expanding the game. They're going to continue fixing it. And if that wasn't enough for people, because the comments for this got super toxic, super toxic. I'm going to blatantly call it out. They got nasty and people were just angry for no reason. That was my earlier rant is they went out and Chris... I'm going to kill your name. Chris W is what we're going to go with. You can see his name right here. Came out and said, literally, our team has been as big as it ever is, and it's still made up of key members behind Early Access, Scorched Earth, Aberration, Hires from Primitive Plus, The Center, Ragnarok, Seedron vet, Season Veterans that are doing all kinds of stuff, that are continuing to create new games, that are continuing to push forward issues, that are working on new mechanics for supply drops, tameable titans for extinction. They're pushing the game forward, and they still plan on doing all this new stuff, integrating uh, S plus integrating the new kibble tree to try to get things working working on winter wonderland fixing issues that are coming up which they know they weren't perfect but that's the world we live in with the new games people can't release things to the public and they can't be perfect because there's too much in there and it doesn't get tested until everyone tries it and they go 
oh shit, we gotta fix that. And so they try to fix it as fast as possible. However, once again, as we said, console falls behind because you have to go through Microsoft or Sony in order to get that patch to hit. So unfortunately, you're always gonna be a little bit behind on there, and it sucks. I'm sorry. And if you really don't like it that much, I would hate to say it, but you're gonna have to go to PC. But if not, that's part of playing the game. So overall, they've blatantly, literally just blatantly said there are more expansions coming, there are more games coming, they are still fixing stuff. They are sorry that it was not there, but everything is still going, and Atlas is a different team. So you have two teams working on two different games, the way it's supposed to be. Now with that ranting over, um, I want to talk about Atlas and some of the changes. Now I apologize for everyone that heard that and was like, what the hell? He's so angry. I am angry because I hate this mis misbelief of people and this whole community of gamers that have come out of... I'm angry because this isn't the way it's supposed to be. That's what you signed up for. That's what early access, alpha, all that stuff is. Is It's something that's slowly developing and getting better. So you need to get over this belief that it needs to be completely perfect on release because no game anymore will be perfect, perfect on release. It's never going to happen. Even the old games weren't perfect on release. People still found issues and bugs and ways to cheat the system. And they do it in every game. So it's never going to go away. And when you add something new, something else is going to break. That's the way it works in programming, in video games, and in, in everything. When you add something new, something else is most likely going to break. I'm not saying it's not always that way. You can't test away at it and try to fix it. But until everyone's using it, you're not going to 100% know what's happening. <sighs> With that being said, with all those patches coming out, with all this stuff, and I'm going to link all this, by the way, guys, down below in the description. So if you want to check this out and read all this below, it'll all be down in the description. You guys can check it out down there. So if you go into the Atlas Wiki on here, you can see the game's going to be 30 bucks. It's coming out on the 19th. They've changed it. But on top of which, there's actually a web page that you guys can check out, and it gives you the exact time or how much time's left. I'm super excited about that. So then I went to Steam, and I was like, okay, let's see what they've got on Steam. Well, they've had two huge updates, Captain's Log 1, Captain Logs 2. It's the delay, some new screenshots in there. You guys can check that out. Um, I'm going to link to the Steam page, not to that one specifically, because the one we want to talk about is Captain Logs 2, official Discord server and new settings. That's right. So if you go in here, you can join the Discord right here. So I'm just going to copy and paste that for you guys. It'll be down in the description to join the Atlas Discord. You can check it down there. You get a new little thing. It's really cool. Captain Logs 1 is just basically just looking at some stuff, and they had to delay it. Um, to get through this massive game um, extensive content, so they just wanted to double check everything. That's all they said. They said the game's working fine, no issues. On top of it, they've also introduced a YouTube page, so it's all getting there. So with all of this being said, it's it's they're, they're they're trying to develop the game. They're trying to get it better. There's all kinds of new ways. But so let's go ahead and jump into the Discord. Um, you guys are gonna see that here really quick here, <clears throat> and you can see it's crazy. Look at all this. There's so much stuff going on. There's tons of people in here already. Like right now, there's 2,152 people online, plus all the people on here. And oh, by the way, there's Jat, guys. If you've been looking for him, we found Jat. He's here. Hi, Jat. Hi. So I'm super excited to see Jat's working on the game. Um, they've got all kinds of company recruitments and stuff coming in. It's really looking kind of cool. You guys can see this general patch discussions, all kinds of stuff. So you can see um, some of the toxic people have joined this, unfortunately the way it works um, but you guys can see all this information in here and there's so much going on with the game right now people are getting super hyped for it so for those of you that believe by being angry at wildcard and not buying atlas it's not going to work it, you you're, you're have a fallacy the game's going to blow up because they're making an mmo and a survival game the same thing basically what people asked for from fallout 4 that they didn't do with Fallout 76 because they removed npcs Basically what people have been asking for from survival games, which is a story or something to drive the survival aspect of it, they are now bringing to you from ARK. So for those of you who didn't think that they weren't listening to you, they did. They very much so, and they just made it a new game because ARK was ARK. This is Atlas. A little bit of a difference. Um, so that's where you guys can check everything out. I hope you guys are excited as I am. I 100% am saying I am buying Atlas. I will be playing it day one. Nothing's going to change my mind. I loved Ark for as long as I've loved Ark. I still like Ark right now. I can't say I love Ark because I've played it so much that it's 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 reached a point for me that I'm kind of uh, I don't want to say bored of it, but I'm just I'm I'm spent on it. Um, I, I've played it for so long, but I still enjoy it. Like let me be clear, like it's just but it gets that redundancy where I want something new and really cool, and and I think Atlas has a shot to be that also. And there's a couple other games that I think have a shot to do it too, and who knows? Maybe all of them work out and they're all great games. We don't know. But guys, I hope this this video gives you a little bit of information. It gives you some ideas of what's going on. I'm not trying to 
hide anything as you guys can see right in front of you. I'm, I'm, I know this is probably not my most clear and concise video in the world, but I just wanted to call it out. It, it's been bothering me all morning and it's really been frustrating me. And so this is my video saying, get over it. Atlas is going to happen. You're not going to stop it by being angry at it. You're just going to miss out on a good game because if you have 6,000 hours in ARC and the people from ARC are making a new game, that's your, your, I'm going to blatantly say it. You're stupid for not getting the new game. Like, you're just stupid because they built a game that you loved, but now you don't get it because you're upset that they haven't fixed every bug in Ark. They've been working on Atlas for a long time. It just happened to coincide with the extinction thing. Whether that was planned or not, it is what it is. And, you know, you can bring up all the past about the Scorched Earth, but that's just, we're not even going to get into that because that's a whole nother bundle of joy that's ridiculous. So, overall, guys, I hope, um, I hope this gets you somewhere. I can see my volume's going crazy over here because I'm being too loud. Um, but so is, is what is. I'll try to fix the volume and then the editing side of things. But um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you see that I am passionate about these games. I do love them. Um, and if you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, you guys can subscribe. You guys know what to do. You do it from every, for every YouTube video for every YouTuber. So I don't need to repeat it. Um, but let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Please let me know there. If you thought I was too angry, if you thought it was my, if you want to be angry at me and troll at me and tell me I'm an idiot, go right ahead. I enjoy those comments because whatever. <laughs> that's your choice to say that. Um, so that's my thoughts. And I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. And I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. And we see you guys on the next episode of Lemur's Corner.